you're about to go on a blind date with uh, my classmate. How do you feel right now? A little nervous right now. First time meeting a Chinese person. Is it your first time going on a date on the internet? Yes. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can hear uh, you now. Yes, we can hear you. Perfect. Okay. Jia is uh, my classmate. And uh, ever since I met her, I thought she would just be a perfect match for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I thought Isaac was a very charming guy that would be a good match for you. I think you guys have a lot in common, except the fact that Isaac's Korean and Chinese. But uh, besides that, I think you'll have a lot to talk about. Let's begin the blind date. So. All right. Thanks okay. for coming out, Brian. Hi, Jia. Hi. Uh, my name's Isaac. Okay, nice to meet you, Isaac. My name is Sia. <laughs> you already know, right? Yeah, that's uh, Chinese, right? Yeah, Jia. yeah, yeah. So, is, am I pronouncing that right, Jia? Because that sounds very Korean. Ah, oh, yeah, Sia. Yeah, right. But how do you say Jia in your native language? Sia. Sia. Yeah. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Sia is my nickname. It's not my real name. Oh, what's your real name? Xu Zhuo Lei. One more time. Xu Zhuo Lei. Xu Zhuo Lei. So, how old are you, Xu Zhuo Lei? 29. Oh, 29. Uh, Oh, no, no, no. Well, it's cool, it's cool. You looked much younger than 29. Much, much younger. Oh, thank you! I like it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know why people call me Xia? Is it the nickname? No, why? Because my face looks like Malaysia's person. <laughs> Malaysia. Yeah. Yes, yeah, oh, that's... So that's why. And how does that make you feel? Oh, uh, I first time I thought, oh, it's not funny, but after later I thought, oh, Sia is a nice name, and pretty, so okay, I, now I call Sia, so from high school and now on, I always call Sia. Since high school, so that was about 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago, from China. <laughs> So, where in China are you from? Uh, the north side of China, near Russia. Near Russia? Harbin. So, that's a pretty cold place. Yeah, so cold. Mm. Wow. You have a cat. So, you're a cat person. Yeah, my friend call me cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> Because you love cats. Well, I'm a dog person, so. Oh, so you have dog in Korea? Uh, we eat dogs in Korea, but uh. You I eat dog. Yeah, so I can't own a dog without getting hungry. So instead, I have a bunny. <laughs> okay. Hello, buddy. Yeah, he helps me uh, go to sleep. Or oh, she, yeah, I, I haven't okay. decided yet. Is it common for a lot of uh, Chinese girls to like live on their own, away from their family? I think it's okay, because, you know, young people always that, like that. They can't live together with parents. But mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe after a few years later, when I have money, I can earn enough money and I can uh, bring my parents to my ho my workplace maybe. Mm. Because uh, a lot of a lot of uh, girls in Korea, they even after co even when they go to college or even after college, until they get married, they have they usually live with their parents, right? In, in Korea, Korea. Korean. Yeah, a lot of Korean girls. That's... But the Korean girls, if they marry, 
the, they will be together with her husband and her husband's parents, right? Maybe a long time ago, but nowadays the trend is different. But uh, I guess that's a little different in China. I guess when if girls need to leave their parents' home, they can just leave whenever they want. Um, yeah, yeah. China is better. Uh, better thing is like uh, they don't live with parents, even the uh, husband's parents. Most of the time, they think. Uh, they think young people think they have their only place, space. They need they their own space, so they can't live with parents. And uh, for older Chinese people, they always think, "Oh, you're married now. You are grown up now. You can't live with parents. It's uh, kind of like you have to." You have to have your own house. Chinese people have we have to own house. We have to buy some house. Then you grow up. Something kind of like that. Ah, uh, that's the mindset of the young people in China. Yeah, yeah. Older people, I always think young people when they grow up and they can make money, they have to buy some house. Ah, uh, so what? Age do uh, Chinese girls usually get married, or men? Chinese girls. They mostly in Chinese girls. They are in my age. Most most of they are already married. Already. Married. But but because you no no me I'm uh, studying in another country, so I'm so late to marry. But all my high school friends and. Uh, even have some college friends, they still go back to China and they're already married. Wow, so most of your friends are already married, huh? Yeah, and my high school classmates, mm -hmm. they already have baby, and the baby, <laughs> so uh, maybe five years old. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, it's better, I mean, the good thing is you can still go out and have fun, go out on dates with other people. Right? Yeah. So, I guess, right, You, if you go on a date with a guy, in mm -hmm. America, usually, the men pick up the women from their house and then drop them back home. Is that the same for dates dating in China? Because in Korea, you would never do that on a, on a first date. Of like, course, in China still too. China means if you take the guy to your home, it means you already want to marry with this guy. But if you if if we just a boy and the girlfriend, we want to take you go my home. So you don't usually. Uh, never. <laughs> wow, I never. I, I never did it. Before. So you never had a guy pick you up. And then take you to the wherever for wherever for a date, and then drop you back home. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, my first love, my first boyfriend, he take me to his to uh, to meet him his family. <gasps> On the first date? No, 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 no first date. Oh. Um, after three weeks later. Three weeks? Yeah. That That's pretty fast. For Koreans, that's pretty fast. If you were to, let's say, if you were to bring me to your parents, your parents would say, no, he Korean, no good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yes. My, my mother may be okay because my mother is an open person, but uh, my my Father is not, but before we talking about that, I I uh, I ask my father. I said, father, if uh, dad, if I marry with some Korean guy, is okay, or some American, or Australian guy, is that okay? My father just angry about me. He said, no, never. You just can marry uh, with the north of Chinese guy. 
Really? Oh, but, yeah. But I have many Chinese friends. Would that help? I yeah. I have a friend in America who's Chinese. Off, is is this gonna be a problem for dating Isaac? I mean, I gotta watch out for my friend here. I mean, is it kind of a waste of his time because I think he's kind of looking into like getting serious with somebody. But uh. Yeah, yeah, but I still I have answer. I didn't finish. I said I never listen. Even my father, I angry about me. I never listen it. I, cause I think it's just a joke. It's not serious. Okay. I was just watching out for Isaac. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Brian, for looking out for me. But I think I can handle my. I, I think I can handle it. Okay. Yeah. Cause my father, my even my father. My father like uh, Chinese, but uh, my mother said, "Okay, you can marry with who you want." Because in my family, I mean, see that in my family, my mother is here, my father is here, I'm here. <laughs> so I, 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 yeah, I heard that in China, uh, everyone really, really, really respects women. So if they get married, the women. Are really up here in terms of household power. Is that somewhat mm -hmm. right? Oh. Yeah. I guess that's true for I guess for every other marriage in every other nation because once the wife says something, then the husband really can't do anything. So I guess that's true everywhere. No, not everywhere. Just. Uh... I think it's not for all the family. Just some family is that. Just some families. But, yeah, but I heard about the some part of the south of China, the woman is really power. They, the if uh, I heard about it, if some woman, oh, I want to marry now, so they go to the village to chop. To choose mm -hmm. which guy he like, he just pick the uh, bring the guy a go. Can you understand? Really? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true story. Wow. So they, they like oh, this guy arm is okay. Like it oh look like strong. Okay, I like this guy. So just take this guy go. And the okay. mighty guy come here and. If if I were in China and I was in that lineup, would you choose me? <laughs> yeah, I will. Oh really? Oh, thank you. I needed to hear that. And so when Chinese people think of Korean men, okay, and they're looking for like a relationship, a dating relationship, what are what do they usually look for? Well, not just Korean men, but men in general. Like if a most, because for Korean girls, I don't like to say this on air, but uh, it seems many shallow Korean girls don't really care about anything except for money and height. If they're tall, if uh, if the man is tall, then <laughs> Korean girls usually like tall men. Is that That's the same I think most of girls like tall guy. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, what about for people in China? What do they look for in girls? I think people the same, but uh, the, the most important thing is not how high are you or how, much, how rich are you. I think the first thing is, do you nice to me if mm -hmm. we're together? Let's say it's a... Uh, this is a good, uh, really very important. And okay. for for Chinese girl, mm, some Chinese girls think the same way to with me, but uh, some Chinese girls uh, still think, uh, how rich are you? How tall are you? I, I like a, a handsome guy. Some girls will see that. Okay, and that's what most Chinese girl is. Uh, girl is the same all over the world. Oh, are you the same? I I mean girls. Okay, girls, but how about you? 
Uh, me, uh, I doesn't care about the, the other things. I just care about how nice to me. I mean, my my boyfriend how nice to me. Okay, nice. What else? What else is on the list for you? What's on your list? Nice. What else? Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Wow. Well. Nice, nice, and nice. Those are my personality. That's my personality. Those are, that's me. Nice, more nice, really nice. Mm, uh, good. Okay. Uh, how long for? How long in your standard is long? What's a long relationship? Long time. I think time. maybe not long. <laughs> Not long? Because, you know, my ex-boyfriend, uh, we together each other just for one day. That feel, you know, oh, that feel I, what I want, so that we together. For one day? Yeah, after one day we know each other now. Oh, he is a nice guy, I can together with him, so then just together. Oh, so you were comfortable with him after one day? Yeah, but the, yeah, I'm okay that. But uh, first of all, I should have that feel. You know the. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. How to say, yeah, yeah, just that uh, you know. Okay, but what's the longest relationship you've had? One year? Two um, years? Five years? And what happened, if I may ask? I can feel he don't want to marry to me. Uh, and uh, so... He doesn't want to marry you? He must be crazy. Oh, just... Uh, yeah, he's young. I'm so young. And uh, we... We just... Uh, he, he just want a uh, uh, single, <laughs> I think. So we broke up. Well, it's his loss. Would you be willing to date in Korea again? Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Actually, yeah. I like. I actually I like to get a uh, meet with some Korean American. <laughs> <laughs> Well, seems like that's four things on your list. Korean American, nice, nice, and nice. Mm. Hmm. Who is Korean American? Nice, nice, and nice. Let me think. Oh, wait, it's me. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, Brian, I'm sure maybe we can set that up with Brian. Oh, um. But I mean, no. so far, so far, uh, what do you think, Isaac? He's a good guy, right? Yeah, he he can he look like a, a good guy. Thank you. That's why I was introducing you guys. Do you have an? I feel like Isaac has been asking most of the questions here. But uh, Gia, do you have any questions for Isaac? Some personal questions uh, for him? Yeah, I want to ask. So, how long did you be in Korea? Nine years, nine years so far. Wow, nine years, long time. So, yeah. so you born in Korea, then go to America. Yes. Uh, so your family is Korean, right? No, they're in America. Uh, so they live in America. Ah, uh, okay. So. So you just uh, uh, move with your family to America? Yes, I did not have the option to say no at that time. Because <laughs> you are so young. <laughs> yes. Okay, so in nine years, how many girlfriends did you have? Well, I might have had, let's say, Three, four? Not so many. Well, because once I do 
go out with a girl, I usually date for a very long time. Cause how long? How long? How long? The 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 longest one. Relationship. The longest. Yeah. Well, you have the longest. You said five years, so. Oh, I, so how about you? Mine, mine feels really short. Three and a half years. Ah, still long time. Yeah, and then. So, so your other your girlfriend is a Korean. Yes, because in Korea, there are mostly Korean girls. But maybe you still have some American friends. Maybe they they have some right girls. Um. Oh, so you wanted to know? You want to know if I dated a white girl in Korea? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what you're trying to say. Okay. Uh, no, I've only had friends, but I don't think I've ever dated a white person in Korea. Why? Why not? Hmm. Maybe because I've always just thought most of them as friends. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, they get so comfortable, it's just friends. And plus, I, well, I always had a girlfriend at the time. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So you like Korean? You like, like Asian? Not uh, the, the other part? I mean the... I like all women, regardless of skin color. <laughs> or national? No, really. I I don't discriminate. If a girl is very has a is very mature, knows how to think, and has a good personality, then that's what I look for. I don't go for what skin color are you? Are you white? Are you brown? Are you? I don't have yellow. Yellow? No, that's not that's not my thing. Mm, I see. Mm. Question back at you: Have you ever dated a foreigner in Korea? So many. So many. Okay, how many? Only one. <laughs> what? No, oh. that um. Uh, Mm, some white guy. Mm -hmm. I might and the uh, my friends introduced some guy to me, but uh, mm. he was. He is good. He's good, but just not right. Okay, could you explain right? Because I it might be a little confusing. What I, I I don't know how I don't know how to say it. it's just a feeling, a feeling for by myself and uh, when I just uh maybe it's a little make people confused but uh, you know girls are always like uh, when they when they meet some guy when mm. when I saw him first time then I know. Oh, it's right. It's what I want. Where I can't, I can't have that feel. So when I met some guys, I just feel ah, oh, this one, this guy is so nice. Mm -hmm. It's good, but uh, just not uh, right to me. Just something like that. That is the most complicated. Answer yeah. you can give, and maybe I think maybe I think maybe we need more time. But I we just date one time, so up later we didn't keep touch with each other. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the reason. Mm -hmm. If we know each other more, maybe I can feel him and I can like him. But we just date one time, and mm -hmm. didn't know each other so so clearly. So, so that's that's the reason. All right. Well. So, oh, I still have one question. Oh yeah, go ahead. 
Uh, uh, how, uh, how about your current life? My current life? Yeah. Oh, you want to know what I do? Yeah. I mean, first I want to I I want to ask, do you like Korea, and uh, what are you doing in Korea? What I'm doing right now in Korea is uh, I just I finished graduating college. I got my bachelor's degree not too long this winter in February and <clears throat> yeah in Korea. Ah. Oh. And then I'm teaching at a Hagwon in an English academy, but that's just for me to be able to pay my rent, to pay the bills. But what I really, really want to do is journalism, reporting and writing. And I joined <clears throat> IDC, I did culture, and it's been great because I was able to learn a lot about cultures that I didn't know, learn new things about people, and then be able to write about that and make up my own thoughts. So it's a very different type of writing for me. For me, I was always doing articles like uh, for news, like the Korea Times, and they were okay, but what was really fun to write is on IDC. So I really enjoy working with Brian and everyone else. So I guess that's pretty much kind of the biggest reason I'm still in Korea. Have you ever kissed on your first date before? Me. You have? Okay. How about you, Isaac? She was honest. If I can't think of it, does that mean no? If I can't think of a memory where I made out on the first date? I didn't say make out. Ooh. Yes. Yes. I, make it, out? Okay, and I have a... Uh, okay, I'm sorry. That was kind of a superficial and immature question, but I have a, a question um, that's a little more serious. If you do get married... Would you expect Isaac to move with you to China? Or could you live in Korea or another country with Isaac? Mm, I like to fall in with Eric. I Isaac. Oh, yeah. So you would follow him wherever he would go if you guys yeah. married? Because, you know, for me, I, can't, uh, I like falling with a guy. So... Mm. For me, I like a, a guy as leader, so I just following this guy should be okay. And uh, how many kids, this question applies to both of you, how many kids do you guys want to have? Two. One or two. One or two? Yeah. Okay. Not so many, so many is, uh, I don't like. Yeah, two is perfect. Uh, yeah. Isaac mentioned he wanted to get into journalism, so he might be moving around the world a lot covering stories. Is that a problem, to move around a lot? Move around where? The world. Different countries. I like it. I really want to come more around the world. All right. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good sign. And I, so my, my, my dream, my dream, I just to travel all over the world and... Uh, don't live with somewhere for a long time. Now I live in Korea say, seven years. I feel so, oh, I'm so burned. I just want to run away. You just want to run away. Okay. Well, well I think, um, I don't know. I have a good feeling about uh, both of you together. It sounds like you guys are enjoying talking to each other. Um, so I guess um, we're getting to the end of the show right now. So I guess I have to ask the most important question to both of you. Um, would you be interested in going on a second date together? Maybe even not on Google Hangout. Maybe in, in person. Perhaps. Sure. Yes, I would definitely be interested. Yeah, me too. All right, great. It's a success then. It's a success. So uh, yes, yeah, success. Go. Woo! <laughs> okay, I'm feeling some good chemistry here. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll set something up offline. 
Um, Isaac, and yeah, thank you so much for joining us here on IDC Live. And uh, we'll see you again sometime. Alright, thanks for setting me up, Brian. No problem, you owe me one. Don't forget. You too, Gia, you owe me one. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Nice talking to you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.